Hi right, champions, how you doing? Well, we are out in the greenhouse at the moment. Now, I'm not growing too many chilies out here. We've got some tomatoes going on as well. Uh, we've got cucumber over there we're gonna try and grow. Um, we've got reaper from last year, Maruga scorpion from last year, uh, another reaper from last year. Uh, it's got plenty of little chilies on it. I think I might need to pick some. Anyway, what I'm in here talking about is the fact that uh, we are mixing up uh, a couple of different types or a few different types of things in our compost to get them growing. So we've got a decent, uh, we've got a decent compost going on. Uh, we've been using this one this year. Last year, mm, do you know what? I can't even remember what it was. But this is Westland, Jack's Magic. Uh, seems to be doing quite well this year. Any good compost. Uh, we've got some vermiculite going on in there, pots. Vermiculite. Um, so that just holds moisture for a little longer. Looks like this. Yeah, looks like this, little grains. Um, so yeah, that, that's very good. So that um, helps maintain moisture uh, in the soil. Um, we've then got some worm castings. And worm castings, obviously they are exactly what they, they, they sound like. They are worm castings. Now this is what they look like in the bag. Um, essentially, it's all broken down stuff. So it's like hardcore compost. I mean, this, this really boosts everything. I mean, you end up with like fruit stones in here. That might take, I don't know, three or four passes. Uh, all the worms, all the little worms to uh, eat it down. But anyway, yeah, so that, that you mix that in as well. That's awesome. Uh, and then of course, and that's, <laughs> I mean that gives, that boost, that boost, that boost. But this stuff, uh, we've been watching a few videos now um, on growyourgreens.com, on YouTube. Awesome dude, love him, John, he's quality. Anyway, this one here, this is rock dust. Now you may think, what the hell am I doing with rock dust? But look here. Uh, it, it, it puts, essentially what it does is it puts minerals back in the, all the minerals that you need to ingest yourself, we all get from the land. And of course that's, you know, you can't just add sand in there and hope you're gonna get that minerals from that. Um, this is volcanic, uh, you can get a couple of different types. I'll just get a cup out and show you. Uh, so this is what it looks like. Actually, sorry, I might as well just get it in my hand. Um, so this is what it looks like, um, yeah. Little grains like this, and essentially it's got to be small, it's got to be fine, because all the little microbes, like you've got to have some, which is just dust, you know. A um, bit like flour, flowery dust, because otherwise the microbes, the little microbes aren't gonna be able to ingest it. They're not gonna be able to do anything with it. And so this is what I've been doing. I, I, I've only just heard about this stuff. So essentially I just put it on top and obviously you do get some big bits, but obviously as you water from the top, all those minerals go in down into the soil and end up down with the, all the roots uh, down in the bottom of the pot. And that's fabulous, so that's what I've done this morning. Uh, it only turned up today, so I've, I've been going around and just topping up, doing all our, doing all our pots essentially. I mean, this is the cucumber, or will be the cucumber. Uh, this is a tomato plant that we had outside and we've decided we're gonna Try put bringing it in because it, <laughs> it's not done too well, really. But look at this. Since bringing that inside, these flowers, this have gone from this dead, new flowers, bang. So that is what that stuff does. Uh, well, actually, it's the, it's probably up until up until now. It's probably the um, not the rock dust because obviously I've only put that on this morning. Um, but it'll be the worm cast, and it'll be. It'll be the, the, the good quality compost. I've put it on all our fruit trees over there as well. Um, our pears, our apricot and plum, our plum, and our two apples. Um, I've put some on our herb garden, um, and some flowers uh, on the lettuce. And, and I've also put some this morning on all the raspberries to see what they're gonna do. Never know, <laughs> it was a good crop last year. Uh, and then the, the, the rhubarb we've got, we haven't got much of it. Um, but found a decent rhubarb supply for that rhubarb preserve. Mm -mm -mm. That's going to be good. Uh, so we're trying a couple of different things this year, actually. Uh, I might do it in another video because this is getting quite long. But essentially what I've done is I cut off, 
already had chilies. I actually made a mistake. So what I've done is I've whacked it in a bottle of water. Uh, and you can see there, there's, uh, there's chilli on it already. There's two chilies on it already. So that has been in there now. Hmm. I don't know, it's probably been in there three weeks. Just keep on topping up the water. Um, we pick some chilies. I've obviously, uh, these are these are left from before. I've just um, that's what I use for picking. Love my little trug. My little uh, my niece uh, bought me that. Amy, little Amy. Well, I would imagine it was just, uh, Dad Stuart <laughs> or Helen. <laughs> anyway, there we go. So uh, what we've also done is we've got a basil plant. I might do this in another video also, but essentially all we've done um, is we have. Uh, Put them in a cup, taken taken um, cuttings. Uh, let the put them in a cup of water. Let the roots grow in the cup of water, and then uh, yeah, three weeks later, bang, whack them in a little pot, put some rock dust on them, smashing it. <laughs> I love these. These are getting ready to ripen soon. Hello, little spider. How are you doing? Um, and then, uh, yeah, we got lots and lots of pods. We got lots and lots of pods. We like picking up these pods and putting them in our sauces. <laughs> uh, I'm crap at singing. Uh, anyway, yeah, so look at this little beauty. Oh my life. Completely different looking. I don't know what that is. It says it's a yellow reaper. I'll find it is. Uh, I have no idea what it is, to be honest. Anyway, so uh, also, this <sighs> can you hear that? Seeds, seeds inside there. So it's bird's eye chili, one of the ones which I grew last year. Completely forgot uh, about growing them this year. Totally and utterly forgot about planting some. So I'm starting some more off. Da -da 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 -da. Now they're tiny at the moment. Obviously they ain't going to get as much. So uh, it's just as well I've got some bird's eye chilies left from last year. But, uh, yeah, happy days. I only go into uh, Vic's Old Smokey anyway. Um, but yeah, look, I've got some nice little red ones up here. I don't know if you can see that up here. Um, yeah, so they were, they were quite small at the moment, so I'm going to have to keep on picking. Pick, 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 pick in. Pick a little pod for me. <laughs> So yeah, um, yeah, I think I'll sign off. And um, thanks for watching. See you a bit. <laughs> See you a bit. See you a bit. And what kind of way is that to sign off? My blooming 20% battery just came up. That's why it just, it just took my concentration away from the video. Anyway, listen, uh, take care and keep on chimping. I'll see you soon at ScreamingChimp.com. <laughs> Bye.